Miriam is in labor. You want a paper towel to grip it with? The sheep don't actually like interference for the most part. Let's see, there's some feet there. Yeah, the heads are too, but I just ran off if I could do anything. Last year's lamb she had was Goliath, and he was... Uh, how many pounds was he? I don't know, but he was really big. He wasn't our record, though, but he was big. Ten pounds or something? I mean, he's moved on to his new home, so... Off having babies elsewhere. She doesn't look like she likes us looking at her. Well... Uh, let's just give her a second and she'll do it on her own. Pretty big. Oh, did she? I forgot that. Well, I mean, it's hard to know if she could have done it on her own, but it was big. Uh, to close them out, do you think? No. I don't know if this is going to be out. You want me to hold her while you uh, it? Run off now. Be serious here now, huh? Nah. You can kind of nah. work the skin upward a little bit and there pull down nah. and wiggle, and then a large kid or lamb will usually be born. I think we're going for a record <laughs> on ram lambs. Yep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Boy, he's got horns already almost popping out. <laughs> it's your baby, honey. Sure, honey. He doesn't seem big enough to... She's definitely big enough. Let me know if you want the sucker. Yeah, give me the sucker. Got a little bit of gurgle going on. It's okay, Miriam. So, let her see if Go ahead and suck them. Except for this has a hole in it. And the flaw, it flaw came right out of the package like that. Is that working at all? I've got the other one. It's just. Yeah, I'll swing him. Alright, she's going to swing him to clear his lungs. That's what you get for buying stuff. <laughs> it wasn't from overseas, but it might have been made overseas. I think if you examine the label. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Make sure to give him some support when you do this. Anything? How's that grab ya? Come on. Come on, mama. The mother stimulates them by licking them. They stimulate them by rubbing. Ah. Them to breathe. I know, the sucker doesn't work. <laughs> ah. I've, got, I've got the other one, but we try not to have mixed species that was used on goats. Part of our being. Nah. Nah. Herd. We try to keep each pen separate, sanitize nah. pens and stuff like that. I think he's okay. Nah. And then if Mama will let me, you can bump him. Hold on, honey. Nah. Hold on. You nah. Lift the abdomen and drop it into your hand. Right in front of the udder. Right in front of the udder. Ah. And that tells you if you feel something hit you like a baseball. Ah. And then we always clear the teats for the lamb or the baby goats because the first 
couple squirts of colostrum, it's hard to get out because it's sealed. Could you tell was there another lamb in there? Nope, just a giant boy. Very rarely that doesn't work. Once in a while, if you uh, do that and it's in the birth canal already, you won't feel nothing. Um, one time we had one that was like that. And if it hadn't been for guests being there, we would have left. But uh, we hung out and there was another one. But very rarely. And he's going to be a, uh, he's not a black lamb, he's a brown lamb. So that's what they call a moret because he's a Shetland. It's hard to see here, but you can see he's kind of reddish, got a reddish hue. Her mom had one that looked just like him last year. We needed a U, we supposed, but uh, apparently not. We have one, <laughs> one U lamb for the whole season. Everybody else is a boy. But he's healthy. This giant. Okay. We'll tend to his up and in a minute.